Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play the Sims 3 Pets Leprosy Challenge. So in the last episode, both Fiona and Aster tried for a baby. Um, disclaimer, wasn't my doing. The I have autonomous woohoo on for um an ross woohooer so yeah that happened between fiona and rags and lo and behold this bitch gets pregnant now i did initiate a woohoo with aster and his down the street boo and it says that they're mates now which is so adorable i forgot that it actually shows when horses are like quote-unquote married i don't know it just says mates but still it means a lot so any willow fox she lives down the road she is aster's mate from now on although aster has had another mate before um he had goo goo he had a child with goo goo and diamond marshall who definitely was not the best training horse definitely not the best racing horse i mean for god's sake diamond hates or he's clueless and he hates jumping so kind of a bad combo honestly because i mean we want a racing horse we want a horse that has like stamina and stuff but goo goo or sorry diamond goo goo did not make diamond um you know train or anything like that so i mean i guess goo goo wouldn't be making diamond train but you know what i mean like that Diamond is not a good is not a good horse to try and train. Okay, anyway. So I'm gonna have she needs a pee and she needs to sleep. Those are two things that need to get done as soon as possible. But oh, in this episode, we need to throw Rags's bachelor party because this little parent's blessing, um, little moodlet is gonna wear out and I want them to get married while they have Soleil's blessing because I think that that's really really cute so I'm going to have him throw he's gonna be throwing a bachelor party now in the last episode we also had Fiona's bachelorette party and we threw it at this bar that I have over here uh the watering hole saloon if you have Enros no sorry if you <laughs> I don't know why I've said if you have Enros if you have pets look in your bin I think it's if you have pets and late night installed at the same time you'll have this watering hole saloon which has like professional lots in it it's amazing um i'm really glad that they i don't ever remember there being that in the game uh like uh lots that had professional bars already in them i remember there being like a lot of those quick drink bars and whatever in towns that are not late night uh bridgeport so all right we're gonna throw it at 5 p.m tomorrow it's gonna be on tuesday bachelor party now i don't know how many people oh rags is really close with you on i mean he's his imaginary friend so of course he has to invite you on that would be so weird you know what i've gone this whole time i've totally forgot that rags is you one's imaginary friend like the entire time i just forgot that and that's really sad to me i'm not gonna invite philippe that'd be really freaking weird um we can invite connor i guess i guess we can have oh should we invite dave too is this just gonna be hesper's bachelor party like <laughs> uh maybe at the bachelor party tomorrow we can have them go official connor and hesper because i was gonna have hesper go over to his house right now but it's like late at night so probably shouldn't do that we're gonna invite casey declan we'll just invite all of fiona's brothers even though obviously fiona will not be going to the party oh yeah i forgot that fiona and henry kind of had were at each other's throats in the last episode because henry was like chewing her out for some fuck all reason we'll invite bridget we'll invite uh christine i forgot christine's name <laughs> oopsie and one last sim um who does i want to invite people rags knows these are all like hesper's friends and stuff i mean hesper at least has a social life my other simps however clearly do not have a very roaring social life because all these people are people that hesper knows <laughs> All right, let's invite Barrett, I guess, and that's that's the guest list. So 5 p.m. just to impress, and then something we need to do is we need to have. We also have another slot now. He wants to go to the library, which is kind of weird. I don't know why he wants to go to the library. He also wants to learn a fishing skill, which is really good. Uh, so I'll have him do that right now. Go to Tabcast to learn a fishing Tabcast, and I'm just trying to clear out some of his wishes. He also wants to buy a tree house, which I assume is for his daughter and probably his future child as well. I really, I really do like the tree house, so I will give him complete that wish and have him buy one. 
I think it's because he is a family-oriented sim. That's probably why he has that wish. Also, I feel like a treehouse definitely fits in with this whole like house aesthetic. It's like perfect. Let's see, what is this one? The princess in the pauper castle. Let's get that one. I like that one a lot, especially for Eleanor. She seems to be very much so into like fantasy and stuff. Um, she did dress up as a T-Rex last episode, so. <laughs> All right, where can I put this? I think it's cause this little ball is right here that I can't put it like right there. That's where I want to put it. Uh, maybe I can put it over here by the side of the house. I, one thing I kind of despise is how it doesn't really blend into the other trees on the lot, does it? Mm, that's kind of a deal breaker, isn't it? Whatever. I'm just going to stick it right there. And then I'm going to put a little bit of dirt by the base of the tree. Pro tip, if you want to make your, your plants and stuff, your flowers look more realistic, definitely add some dirt on the bottom of it using terrain paint. It, like, does wonders. It looks so much better I feel like when you add a little bit of dirt by the base of the tree so there we go there's the tree house that we purchased for Eleanor I'm sure she'll be very excited to use it tomorrow um she's okay how about we have her go upstairs and also I, I think she has a couple of daddy issues here because she wants to get attention from her dad and she also wants to win a game against her dad so I think she's having a little bit of a crisis concerning her dad so I'm gonna have her dad go upstairs and he can offer to read her a bedtime story cute little wholesome moment. He also wants to do a strength workout, which we can have him do right now, actually, because um, he's not doing all that much at the current moment. Is my time really stuck again? I don't think that Eleonora actually wants a bedtime story because she's decided she wants to go out and sleep in the treehouse, which is fine by me. She can go out there and do that. I guess that means that Rags is just gonna head right to bed. Um, and just sleep in his own bed, but I don't know where- I guess the imaginary friend doesn't need to go anywhere to sleep. He can kind of just chill out. I think they try and sleep- oh, wait, what? Oh my god, I forgot to delete this treehouse over here. Holy- I just lost out on like 700 civilians. I can't believe I forgot to delete this treehouse over here. I totally thought that- mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, not my brightest moment. I can't believe I forgot to delete that one. Well, that's a mistake I'll never make again. I am sorry, guys. I'm sorry, family, that we lost out on, like, 700 simoleons. But you know what? My sims will work hard and make it all back. What is she wearing? Oh, my God. That cannot- I was gonna say that cannot be her sleep attire. There is no way that that could be her pregnancy sleep attire. That would be horrifying. Um, so we need to have Rags take the day off of work, which I f totally forgot to have him do. I mean, he planned his party and all, just didn't, totally didn't freaking take the day off. So when he wakes up from his slumber, I'll have him take uh, one unpaid day off. And then on Wednesday, yeah, on Wednesday in game, they will have their wedding. I have not decided which wedding lots I want to use yet. I think they would have a very traditional sort of wedding. I can't imagine them having, um, like, it at a beautiful lot or anything. I, I could really foresee them having a church wedding. I think that that's what I'm gonna do. I think we've only had one church wedding before, in this leprosy and I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of, I had a lot of fun at that um, wedding. That was back in, I think it was in Generations. It was last season. Yeah, it was definitely in Generations and I don't know why, but like that's the most fun out of all the weddings I've ever thrown. Um, it was between Evelyn and Jupiter if you need a refresher and it was just so chaotic and I love that chaoticness. That's like my favorite part of throwing the weddings in game is like, one, I like seeing everybody, but two, I, I really do enjoy the chaoticness. Oh, the dog needs a bath. She's she's grungy. She's grungy. Okay, well, Hesper is up bright and early. Love it. Very, very nice. Um, Who has my cockatoo? Who has my cockatoo? <gasps> Did the cockatoo... What? Uh, uh, I think when one of these pets dies... They get a little moodlet about it. So where did the did the cockatoo escape? It's not in our family inventory. 
I don't see any cockatoo in anyone's. <laughs> um, I'm so confused right now. So we we don't have a bird anymore. Is that what Carlisle did? Carlisle die? Do I have to make a Carlisle 2.0? How about down here? Are they okay? So Gizmo, Finn, and Brian are all here. Poor. Oh my God. Wait. Now it says empty. It says turtle terrarium empty. But wait. Wait. Why my pets are, are disappearing before my eyes? Oh no, it's because I just accidentally clicked take it away. Okay, well, that fixes that problem. But where's my cockatoo? <laughs> where's my cockatoo dude? And why is Rags up? Oh, he's fully rested. Whoa, already? I wasn't expecting him to be fully rested. Okay, well, he has today off, so that's good for him. Um, the party will start when I walk in. Don't stop making pop. No, the party will start at 5 p.m., so we got a little bit of time. He's going to go and run run the turtle back down into the terrarium down here. And when he's down here, probably should just have him take care of all of them, like feeding Brian, feeling finn's food and then he's probably gonna have to clean and restock gizmos um let's see clean gizmo yeah actually his dishes aren't full so perfect okay uh fiona's almost up so when she wakes up she's got some stuff to do she's gotta go and harvest the eggs she's got to feed her cow she can't tip the cows when she's pregnant which makes me wonder if there's a chance of death because typically when a action is restricted like this by the game um there's like a small chance of a sim dying and obviously pregnant sims like whatever you do pregnant sims cannot freaking die okay i think they can die but i think it's like really hard to kill them because all of the interactions that would kill them are like restricted you know what i mean so i mean for good reason right for good reason I, I think it's it's probably better off that way um rags is going to give daphne a little brush we should teach her some tricks we could teach her how to sit that'd be kind of cool hesper is chilling down here with all of his little pets so now that we have no cockatoo our living room is kind of empty don't you think I cannot believe, like, I am just in awe. I'm in awe. Like, where could he have gone? I, I, I don't even know. He has, like, so much shit in his inventory. Just recycle all of it. All right. What are you doing? Oh, right. She's, um, bright and early. 5.30 in the morning. That's insane that my sims get up at 5.30 in the morning. I don't know how many of my sim families actually get up that early because in real life you bet your ass that there is there is no way you're getting me up at 5 30 in the morning especially if i went to bed as late as they did i think they went to bed like relatively late at night it was must have been like eh, wait was it i don't remember in the last episode i think fiona's fiona went to bed really late the night before that because she had her bachelorette party but maybe i'm wrong you know i think i'm lying i think i'm lying i think they went to bed really really early. Connor Schmidt and Ethan Riffin. No! Connor and Ethan. No! That's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. That was, he was our man. What? I mean, <sighs> Hesper still wants to go on a date with Dave. Oh my god, I'm just so caught in the middle. Like, I don't know what Hesper wants. And I do want to honor Hesper's wishes and all that, but it's becoming a little bit difficult, wouldn't you guys say? Like, I'm kind of confused. Okay, don't drink milk. Did you just waste that milk? I hope she did not just- Why is she trying to prepare spaghetti at 6.30 in the morning? This is what she wants for breakfast? Spaghetti? Are you serious? <laughs> uh, I think it's also wise today for her to go and get her ultrasound. So probably about 8 o'clock or something, she will head down to the hospital to go and get her little- her little ultrasound. We can find out if the baby's a boy or a girl, or if she's having twins or like triplets or something. Oh my god, what happened to Catherine's skin? Why is she red? That is so rare. For a sim to get this skin tone generated, I, I've i never seen that before. That's never happened to me in my whole entire life. If I clock her around town, I'm 100% going to have to try and, and change her skin because there's no way I can let her walk around looking like that. Um, It's Harper's birthday today, which is really fun. And Eleanor's carpool, or sorry... Eleanor's bus. Her bus is arriving soon. Where are my waffles? I made waffles in the last episode and 
they're nowhere to be found. Maybe we ate them all. That's a possibility. Either that or I think they probably went bad and like I didn't put them away in time. Which, if that's the case, then ugh, Maddie. You silly. You silly. Okay. Um, she's gonna finish her pancakes pretty soon, so I would have Eleanor just wait for her mom to make the pancakes, but she's just gonna have to eat a tofu dog because I don't think she's gonna have that much time. And I'm gonna try to have her fit in a shower. She might get not get all the way showered, but I'll have her. Wow, diamond? Flynn Marshall has been working on his riding school with Diamond. Now, Diamond is the one that has the bad, um... Oh, she learned how to sit, which is really nice. Look at her sitting! Oh my god, how cute! Uh, it, that actually didn't take that long. I thought it would have taken a little bit longer. But Diamond is the one that, like, hates jumping and is clueless. So I feel like he would be a really bad horse to train. So that's why I'm kind of shocked that Philippe, like, took the time out of his day to sit there and train Marshall or tried to... Sorry. Philippe Marshall took time out of his day to train Diamond. Oh my god, I just called the horse Marshall. I'm just getting my names all mixed up, guys. Alright, so she is now done with pancakes. She made some great pancakes for everybody. And they're about to all go and chow down on these beautiful pancakes. Good job, Fee. Good job, good job. Rags is getting a little little clusterfuck in the kitchen no big deal though <laughs> all right you gotta go to school stop taking your shower uh i would i want to sign her up for like an after school activity or something but i tend to do it oh who wants to get attention from mom you've had oh my god she wants like attention from everybody she is star quality so i think she probably wants like all eyes on her because she you know she likes she likes the attention although i'm probably going to change her traits when she ages up to a teenager because uh, she's not gonna be the heir to the next generation. She's kind of just like the She's kind of like, you know, the first child. I don't think Fiona would have You know what? I keep going back and forth. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Do you think Fiona? Oh, they're talking about marriage. Do you think Fiona would have a lot of children? I think Fiona would have, like I mentioned, I, I think she'd have children with like different men, but that actually didn't turn out to be the case. I mean, she wants to be committed to rags. She wants to marry rags. Um, so I, I, I personally thought that she would be the type of girl to like jump from, from man to man. Oh, she didn't like whatever he just said. <laughs> He's talking about dr or detergent or something. I don't know what he was talking about there. He's like, yeah, I like, I like clothing detergent. It's pretty cool. Why is he eating off the floor? She is eating off the floor. Okay, go pee there. Also, it's Harper's birthday, which is really fun. So the kitty will age up to being a adult kitty. <laughs> um, I want to breed some of our pets, but we haven't actually encountered that many, that many like adult age cats around here. I feel like I, I mean, I, we see him passing through here and there, but nothing really that really sticks out to me like no, no um other cats or whatever so i wish we had maybe like our neighbor if does our neighbor have a any animals let's see mm, i don't think so that'd be really convenient if like this person here had an animal like uh for example aster's boo lives right down the street so it's really convenient that like literally right here he can be over here in the blink of an eye and i do think that willow got pregnant so around the same time that fiona gives birth i think willow will be giving birth as well but we're gonna send fiona speaking of her pregnancy she is going to go and get an ultrasound scan for 500 simoleons if you guys don't know this is a part of the simlogical hospital overhaul mod i use this in my original leprosy or sorry my original birth of eleanor but also my original leprosy um for the for getting surrogacy. This is how I did surrogacy. So it's part of that mod. Such a fantastic mod. Like this mod and Enros are probably the only two mods I would have in my game if like I was on a, you know, in the desert islands sort of scenario, you know, what would you take to a desert island? My desert island Sims mods are um, the hospital overhaul mod and the Enros mod. I love them so much. Okay. Uh, let's see. What does he want to do today? So I'm going to send him listening to a fishing time cast. I don't know why. I think he improved his fishing. No, you know, he didn't. Hesper improved his handiness skill and I um, mistook it for it being his angler or his fishing skill. So I'm going to send him to the, to the gym. Now he's probably going to be here up until his party later because he wants to do some what is this strength workout so he's gonna go to the gym do a strength workout and at the same time he's gonna be improving his his fishing skill and i'm so excited for fiona i wish i could like 
to get ultrasound scan with blah 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 like I could go with I could go with rags but obviously I don't know that option so she's just gonna go alone I'm so excited I really really want a boy if it's a boy then he will probably honestly be the heir to the next generation not gonna lie to you guys um I don't know why I just really freaking want a boy like I've also been doing this thing ever since generation one where I do like first generation was a female, second generation was a male, third generation was a female, fourth generation was a male. So I, I've been like alternating back and forth. Obviously last generation was Soleil, this generation is Fiona, and the next generation, if I want to keep up on this trend, will be a boy. But I want twins. Like, I want twins so bad. The The last set of twins we have were in generation one. It has been that long since we have had twins. Is that not insane? I feel like in my own households, I get twins more than we've gotten twins in the Slepacy. And I've played five generations of this specific family. Uh, maybe in the, their genetics, they just don't have, like, a good probability of twins or something. So, anyway... Fiona is about to get out of her ultrasound scan. We're about to find if she's out. If she's having a boy or a girl, and she is having a girl. Oh my god, dude! Rags, rags makes girls left, right, and center. It doesn't. Oh my god, look at this girl up there. Oh, I love it. Okay, well, maybe that's like for a good reason that we're having a girl, isn't? It? Wouldn't it, wouldn't you say it's for a good reason? Like. The, the game clearly wants me to push back the birth of their son as far as possible. But I feel like the their child, the boy, when they finally end up do having a boy, um, is going to be doted on so much by his older sisters. Like, <laughs> I think they're really going to dote on him and I think they're gonna like piss him off and pester him but that means that we can stay in this house a little bit yo younger longer yay <laughs> because we can just stick the brand new baby oh my god oh my god are you okay Ast aster are you okay <laughs> he's like running around like a crazy man um he's gonna go i'm gonna have him go and sniff fiona and stuff because she wants to. I keep calling Daphne a he. I'm sorry, Daphne. I don't know why, but I keep calling you a he. All right, so gonna go. Daphne's gonna go and sniff Fiona, and then she also wants to play fetch with Fiona. So I'll probably have him like go outside or something. But he's doing a strength. I don't even know. Oh, he improved his his skill to level five, which is nice. Okay, cool. All right, go and sniff her, and then go and play fetch with her. I think he can initiate it. No, she can't. How do I? Oh, it's right there. Play fetch with. Okay. I love the fetch animation. It's really, really cute. But I don't play with dogs all that much in my own personal game for some reason. I don't know why. I really just don't play with dogs in Sims 3. I feel like because the routing issues are so... Like, there's so many routing issues that it, like, turns me off to the dogs. Okay, you're gonna go play fetch with her. And what does Harper want? Harper doesn't have any wants because she's a little little kitten. Eleanor, put down that knife. Oh my god. Eleanor, relax. She's got, like, issues. <laughs> um, she wants to talk to Hesper, which is cute. But I don't remember if I invited... Who did I... Did I invite Connor to the party tonight? I don't even remember if I invited him to Soleil's... Soleil? Just called him Soleil. Rags's bachelor party. Speaking of Soleil, I haven't talked to him in a hot minute. Last time we talked to him, I think, was when Rags asked for Fiona's hand in marriage, I'm pretty sure. So, it has been a minute. Although, you know what? I might be lying. I think we saw him a couple of episodes ago at another, like, a whole different family party. And here we go. We have Fiona over here playing fetch with Daphne. So cute. Oh, my God. She, like, throws it. And then Daphne... Oh, my God. She caught it. Good job, Daphne. What are her traits? I bet she has good traits. I bet that's why... Friendly, genius, loyal, and non-destructive. Yeah, she has a, some pretty good pretty good sets of traits there. Rags party is starting soon. A little setup might be in order. Yeah, so it is 3 o'clock, meaning that we probably should head over to the lot. But you know what? It's right next door. Oh, speak of the devil and he will appear. Soleil is here. And apparently he walks right into the gym and then decides he doesn't want to work out. He's like, ah, I'm too tired for this shit. I'm going. I'm leaving. I'm going back home. I'm going to have Rags quickly run over to take a shower. And look at that. He's pumped from a workout. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I think when they get pumped, it means that their body mass changes. Um, so he's like a little bit buffer now, but he is so ripped. So sorry, not Soleil. Rags. Why do I keep calling Rags Soleil? 
there's so many names and this lep is the it just fucks me up speaking of names in men and uh yeah i don't know how to i don't know how to segue that i'm gonna have him go and c connect collect a another bird because i want another bird like it feels so empty oh my god look at this little guy a gold finch so let's have him go over there and be friends now the birds that are harder to catch i think um you have to befriend them before you actually try and catch them so if he is successful in befriending this gold finch then he will be able to catch it and then we can obviously keep it in the house so i'm gonna have him go and run over to the lot right next door right now just because it gets me a little it gets me a little nervous uh being there late in, in sims 3 in specific it makes me nervous i hope there is a bathroom oh what go visit the club I, it's still called the R riverview red cow club because i forgot to change it to abalooza plains but just pretend it says abalooza plains okay um wait who's this is this oh it's barrett okay hello it looks like this place is gonna be hopping until the wee hours of the night well you know this is only one of two lots in town that serves alcohol so it should i mean there, there's a pretty good chance that you know that it's gonna be this lot oh we have a dog fog diamond how cute oh my god we should make a puppy with fog how cute oh oh my god wait he befriended it Hesper has captured a golden finch. This particular small bird is common amongst its species in suborder. This is Simon Steele calling. Do you want to hang out at my place? Oh, Simon Steele is trying to get some from Hesper. Simon Steele, by the way, is the stripper from the last episode. Where does Simon even live? Hold up. Oh, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I thought he had an extra trait. I was going to be really confused. I was like, uh, doesn't that come with, with generations having an extra trait? But I guess not. I guess he only has five. Okay. Simon Steele. If I was Simon Steele, where would I live? Now, I really wish that it would send him to the house instead of me having to go on this wild goose chase for wherever this man lives. Like, I don't even know over here lionheart see i don't see any i don't say the, the steel last name also i feel like this is kind of a bait because he's an npc like those dancers oh my god this is a beautiful beautiful bird beautiful bird right here <gasps> look it's bright blue how pretty oh my god i really hope that he can catch this one he should be able to he is an animal lover so i think he has an increased chance i might be lying but i think he has a better chance of like catching these because he is an animal oh my god he did it he did it he did it oh yes okay so this we're gonna we're gonna uh, have him go home now Hesper has captured a blue gold macaw this particular bird is common okay fuck off with that common shit this is a beautiful bird how can it be common don't do me like that game don't do me like that so because our last pet was named carlisle i think we should probably name this golden macaw or sorry yeah, blue gold macaw in place, uh, play with the bird, um, in place of Carlisle because rest in peace, Carlisle. I don't know where you went to. I never got a message. So if you died, then I apologize. But all right, so let's just think of a, I'm going to think of a C name off the top of my head. I was using viewer requested names, but it's hard to pull those up mid episode. So I'm just going to go with my own name. Um, C name, C names. Let's look up C names just quickly here on Google. Charlie. Oh, that's a cute one. Charlie. Now, we don't know if this is a boy or a girl. This could be this could be anything you want it to be. So, I don't necessarily need to use a boy name. But for some reason, when I think birds, like I always think boy birds. But there has to be there has to be freaking girl birds too. So, you know what? Instead of because Carlisle was a boy, our last our last bird, we're going to make we're going to make this bird a girl and we're going to name her Charlotte. That's a cute name, Charlotte. So, you know, she did take over in place of the C name in this uh, Lepicy. She picked up the slack. If you could move, I would very much so appreciate that, Fiona. Speaking of Fiona, her husband has... We haven't paid much attention to him. So, very shortly, we will go back over to the bachelor party. And the dancer has just showed up. So, fantastic. We will definitely need to head over there. So, we're going to name her Charlotte. There we go. So, she picked up in place of Carlisle and I was sad too because I taught Carlisle like so many um I taught him how to talk so many times 
and now he's just gone like I have no idea where he went to so okay whatever we just gotta gotta train him back up all right so he wants to learn Christine's sign now Christine she don't swing that way you know rags you can you can pretend you're drunk right now and pretend that you're trying to flirt with Christine but dude she's married to Bridget long time marriage here damn this is a pretty maid isn't she or well like a uh, stripper maid <laughs> she's so pretty oh my god i'm shook when i see these randomly generated npcs that are like actually good looking it catches me off guard also hesper's boo is over here i totally forgot that i was supposed to have him come over here for a minute i was like unsure if i invited connor or not but i yeah i did because he's standing right in front of me okay all right you did not ask her her sign why why you do this to me ask sign by the way this law is installed it, this is a um lot from the sims resource what are you doing oh he's shaking it he's like really into the into the stripper apparently i don't know where oh she's sitting behind the bar okay this is your sister-in-law yes go and make a silly face with her tell her funny story does he have any friends of course he has you one how could i forget that I almost forgot that he is best friends with Yuan, so we could have him go and ask to make toast. I'm sure it's going to be kind of like a funny toast because it's like, yes, you met my sister because I made you a human and brought you to life and now you're marrying my sister and you're marrying into the family so congrats <laughs> that would be that would totally be my like toast my speech if my best friend ended up marrying like my brother or my sister or something oh my god here we go he's just asking him to make make a little toast here he's like hey i need you to say this I need you to say a couple of choice words for me we got benny hennessy here we got declan we got a lot of the family here oh and it's harper's birthday as well so happy birthday harper we will um pick up with her in just a second here but i need to watch my toast from you one himself from the god himself you one bell hopefully sometimes there's a glitch yeah see this glitch where they're back at home but they try to listen to the toast it's really weird when that happens but oh he came just in oh <gasps> he's accusing him of cheating guys you aren't even an item don't accuse him of cheating you aren't an item okay listen to the toast listen to the toast get your ass over here right now and now he's gonna spray him with some nectar he's like congrats dude i'll catch you at the at the wedding tomorrow <laughs> how adorable okay and then he's gonna go over and just order let's order a group serving of um let's order some nachos for everybody why don't we um hesper's posing in here i'm gonna have him go over to connor and give him a little flirt we'll have him embrace him hold his hands and just have him get a little bit flirty i hope that didn't yeah that didn't take the relationship actually when he just to try to try to accuse him of cheating i'm glad of that um but i do think we need to either end it off with dave or marry dave but it the trajectory that we're going on right now, it, it appears that Connor and Hesper are really going to be... Oh, Casey's over there. <gasps> he wants to who with Connor. Oh my god. Wait, I think it's because Casey and Connor, didn't they have like a little... Was it... Am I just remembering wrong? Or did we have a little message concerning them in the corner? I don't even remember. It's been like a minute since I saw anything about Casey. Order grilled cheese. No, 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 no. Order, grab a plate. Gra there we go. Just grab some food for everybody. Okay. Uh, so now we're gonna have him come over to Connor and they're gonna go and stroke cheek. Where's my proposal going steady? Ask to break with Ethan. Oh my god, he's already dating another man. Oh my god, Hesper. Hesper, what have you gotten yourself into? This is the second man that you're stealing from someone else. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, whatever. After we get with Connor though, this should be it for Hesper's promiscuity. Not even promiscuity. He's not been in a relationship with anybody ever. He's never been steady with anybody, including Dave Phillips. So it's not promiscuity on his part. It's mo it's mostly him being a homewrecker towards other men. So <laughs> Yeah, that's uh that's that's still a problem within itself. Don't get me wrong, that still is a problem within itself, but I mean, at least he's not like the one in the relationship, right? He's just had a he's just had a bunch of flings, and that's that's pretty much it. And he's posing now for the strippers. Why don't you come over here and go in? Where's the music too? Why is there like no music playing right now? Enable wall speakers. Sims jamming nearby. Uh, am I missing something? <laughs> Are Sims really? Oh, oh, 
Wait. Okay, wait. I know he's really tired right now, but I need these two to go steady, so... Please get extremely irresistible, like, right now. I'd really appreciate it. There we go. And then we're gonna go and propose going steady, and there we go. So, um, then I'm gonna probably have him go back home with Connor, because he wants to woohoo with him. And I would have them woohoo on this lot, but there's no, like, showers or anything for them to woohoo in. No photo booth either that comes with Showtime. So I'll have him go back home with Connor and they'll go up to the bed or something. He's also super tired, so I think it's about time that he leaves. Although we have to kind of keep rags here because this is, after all, his um, his bachelor party, so that would only make sense. Everybody seems to be having like a really good time. Oh my god, what? Why is he in his underwear? Casey, 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 you're in your underwear and your whole family's around you. What is wrong with you? Oh my god. <laughs> This would not be like a Belle family party if there wasn't some weird shit always happening. I don't know. Like why? Oh, the strippers over here chatting it up. They're like, yeah, this shop fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, she's taking a photo of her own brother. Um, okay. And now they're taking a picture of Declan. Oh my lord, there's just so much happening right now. Well... Oh, he's on a date apparently. Oh, it's because I had them go. I had them go somewhere together. Well, why don't you just ask um Connor to sleep over because he, it's clearly late and like, it's 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 twelve a.m. He's got to sleep over. Get over here, Connor. 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 Come here. What is this over here? Oh, I don't know. Was that just the horse clipping through the wall? Is that what I just saw? It was the horse clipping through the wall. Why is he trying to come inside? Be brushed. Oh, nuzzle with Fiona. That's so cute. Their relationship, like I swear to God, whenever Fiona gets pregnant, their relationships just plummet. Especially, I mean, I mean Aster and um, Fiona, because obviously she's not riding him or like taking care of him. I mean, she tries her best to take care of him. Don't get me wrong. She is so. Pre oh my God, the baby's coming. Oh my God, the baby. What? Since when? 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 What? Why? How? How? Way? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Um, Fiona, I didn't think she'd be giving birth in this part. I honestly thought it would be in the next part. So Rags is going to bust his ass to get home right now because his wife is giving birth. A pretty important task is at hand. They're having their daughter. Wait, why is she sleeping in her parents' bed? Oh, you know what? I think it's because... What? Rags' party dragged to a close. I guess they're already complaining about Rags' hosting skills. What? That was a fun party. Groomzilla. Groomzillas are a rare breed of sims. Don't cross one that's on a rampage or you may never hear their wedding bells ring. That's so funny. Oh my god, I've never seen that. Okay, wait, there's a person with a broken water. Your wife. Your wife. Your wife is got a water broken. So go. Go. <laughs> I mean, he had to leave his own freaking bachelor party early. Probably not the best uh, choice, especially considering, like, I wanted him to throw a successful party. So they're gonna go now. She's gonna drive herself, or she's gonna drive her and her husband instead of her husband driving her. I don't know why this happens. This is just su such a weird, like, glitch that happens with the game. Is, um, the wife driving the husband to the freaking hospital? I don't know. Okay, so we are A, B, so Eleanor was the last one born, I think, or what, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, so we're on I. Now, uh, I would take your names, Casey, but they're all spread out, and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time, and I'm really, really, really gonna have to go and search, um, Casey is someone who often gives me many, many names, and I appreciate it, but... I it's hard for me to search through because they're not in just one giant comment. You comment them like across like 20 different videos. I mean, let me see here. I'm so, okay, I'm gonna watch them walk into the hospital, please, and thank you guys. <laughs> um, well, we know where they're having a girl, so I have some I names in mind for myself. It looks like I'm at T right now for Casey's names. Like, this is the worst part about collecting names is having to go balls freaking deep in my comment section. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go and pull it my own name. And yes, we already know it's a girl. So, I names. Let's go girl I names. So, I like the name, um, 
Iris. That's like one of my favorite names ever is Iris. I love that name so much. If I had a child, I said this about Eleanor, but if I had, an, if I had another child, <laughs> I would definitely have to pay some attention to the name Iris because I like it a lot. So she ambitious and an animal lover. Those are good traits of her, I feel like. So there we go. They had Thor's second little baby, little Iris. Fiona captured the memory of having a baby. Rags captured the memory of having a baby. And we will never forget that Iris was born on the night that Rags uh, had his bachelor party for their marriage. So I don't know who is going to be watching Iris tomorrow. We might have to, like, actually call a babysitter because all the family is going to be over at the wedding for the wedding in the next episode. Um, also, Eleanor is going to have to share a room with Iris, which I don't know how she's going to feel about it, but it is her little sister, so I think she should be nice to her, <laughs> I would hope. Let's uh, go in put down a crib here. I think I shouldn't have sold that changing table because I kind of need it back right now. Um, that changing table that I sold when she aged up, when, um, when Eleanor aged up from being a toddler, I just sold it for some reason. I don't know why I did that. I should have just kept it somewhere. And cause I knew we were having another baby like soon because these two, those two just fuck like rabbits. Like they do not stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put the crib here and we can put these really cute butterflies against the wall like that and let's see what I can do here let's put down um this this little pattern I've never used this pattern before I do like to try and use patterns that I don't often use I've had this game for nine years and most of these patterns I've used like several several times but there's still some stuff here that I, I I haven't used, and it's it's usually like the weird patterns. Like this, this does not look comfortable to me. Does this look comfortable to you guys? This bed does not even remotely look comfortable to me. I kind of feel bad that Iris and I think Eleanor had the same crib. No, Eleanor had the other crib. She had like the cheaper, cheaper looking crib. Not even because we were poor or anything. Just because it just I don't know. It just looked better in the room. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna give her this little bed sheet spread. I don't tend to do build and buy stuff on camera because it's literally me go doing this sort of thing where I'm going in to create a style and just dragging like my mouse around to try and finesse it, trying to make like a cute little cute little design. Let me take the this wood from this pot over here and just put it like on that little that little bit right there. Uh, and then I'm gonna brighten up. I might make the crib light. I don't know why I just tend to do that. Like my video rooms tend to be white and like kind of clean looking, kind of like sterile, which is probably not what a baby room would look like in real life. Um, baby room would probably be like absolutely chaotic. You know, what? I'm gonna leave it like that because that looks really cute actually. So there we go. We have Iris's crib. Of course, it's like dark, dark, dark outside right now because everybody is. It's nighttime. It's nighttime. And she's well fed and everything. So I'm just gonna have her go upstairs and put Iris right in the crib. And these guys definitely gotta head off to bed because it is three in the freaking morning. Hesper fast asleep. Oh, he woohooed with, um, oh no, he didn't woohoo with Connor. Where is Connor? Con I asked Connor to sleep over. I'm gonna also exit that wish of uh, asking Dave out on a date because I'm don't think he has much interest in Dave anymore. I think he's kind of moved on from Dave when he realized that Dave will not get a divorce from his, his husband and um, is kind of just like using him to toy him around. So <laughs> where did Connor go is my question. Not in Eleanor's bed. Not, oh my God, that this little statue scared the shit out of me. I thought it was like a toddler or something. I was like, what is that thing out there? Is Connor not here? Did he leave? Um, I don't. I'm not, I don't have any option to woo with him when I click on the bed. So, I think Connor left. Yeah, he's not even at the house anymore. Hmm. All right. Well, his loss. He's about to get some. He's about to get some. But whatever. I guess you can just leave. So, anyway, guys. Um, in the next episode, we will be throwing a party. And what is this? Oh, had a child out of wedlock. Okay, they're engaged. How is that a child out of wedlock? That's so confusing. What? <laughs> Go put her in the crib. I just can't. I just can't with this game sometime. Like, how? 
they're engaged. Does that really still count as wedlock, even when they're engaged? Is that a thing in real life? Like, even if you're engaged, you're, if your baby's out of wedlock, please don't wake her up. Okay, he's just investigating her. He wants to dig something up, which I guess we can have him go do. Go dig a hole. You know what? Not on my lot, because then I have to go and fill it in. I remember in Sims 2, there was, like, a lot of, um dig spots you can just dig everywhere and you'd have them like all over your town but i'm gonna have him go over to <laughs> to christine and bridget's house they don't mind do they scratch on door that's kind of morbid isn't it like hearing scratch i don't think i've ever heard a dog in real life like scratching on a door ever have you guys have you guys ever had a dog scratching on the door i feel like i don't know maybe i just have like a really chill dog but she doesn't do much besides exist so i i kind of want to see daphne scratch or not scratch dig up this this um dig spot because she wants to herself so well, you know what don't go that far you don't have to go that far just go just don't do it on my lot please that's all i ask oh can i not do it because it's not on a okay go over to the neighbor's house dig up a, a spot on their lawn that's that's fine if you dig up the neighbor's lawn i'm sure they don't care <laughs> they totally do care but you know what it's okay all right, so here we go, Daphne. Let me see. Will she get anything? What do you guys think? Will she be able to dig up any nice collectibles? Um, she does want to find a gem. So if she finds a gem when, di when digging, then it's kind of killing two birds with one stone, isn't it? So these are the dig spots I'm talking about. They, You have to have like a sim physically come over here and fill it back in, I think. I don't think they automatically just fill in themselves. So it's kind of annoying to do it that way. Did she dig up anything? I don't think she found anything follow oh my god is she in trouble i don't know if she's in trouble don't yell at my dog don't get mad at my dog well i guess i can never sniff out a collectible because then she can find a gem and complete this wish um but yeah guys in the next episode we will be throwing the the wedding party i want to throw it at like pretty early in the day so i'm gonna pause time right now and um i will catch you all in <laughs> when these two get married look at them cuddling in bed oh my god i love it all right guys thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and peace out